Hey guys, Sandy San here. I just wanted to give you my uh, weekly update on being unemployed. As you may know, it is my first week being unemployed and I'm loving it. I've noticed a uh, lowered amount of stress. I've actually lost uh, four or five pounds just over the week just from quitting. I mean, I think one of the reasons is because uh, I haven't been uh, eating to a schedule. Like, you know, when I was working at Walmart, if I had to work at six or something, then I eat at five, whether or not I was hungry. So I think that kind of has something to do with it. But also, you know, like I said before, I think reduced stress levels also have something to do with it as well. My stepdad and my mom weren't uh, too happy about me quitting. They think that, you know, only a, a job can uh, support, supply income, that only, you know, rich people can buy businesses and things like that, which I totally disagree with them on. You know, everybody, you know, most of my friends and my family thinks that I'm, you know, completely, you know, batshit crazy for uh, quitting a good job where, you know, I don't have to put too much effort in to uh, pursue something else, whether or not I enjoy it, you know, which, you know, I do want, I do enjoy doing other things, which is why, you know, I quit my job was to uh, take those things a bit more seriously. Like uh, I mentioned before in my previous blog, I want to do a uh, art all guitar blog called theshred.com. Before I do that, though, I want to uh, revamp my uh, other site uh, called uh, spicymelon.com. I wanted to uh, get that off the ground first. Basically what Spicy Melon is going to be is going to be a, a recipe search engine as well as a, a recipe social network. It'd be kind of like, you know, YouTube meets eBay meets Google in some weird kind of Facebooky sort of way. So it's like all those sites smushed together but with a focus on uh, recipes. I think it's a really good idea. I mean, I've tried researching, you know, looking up some recipes on sites and it's just kind of, you know, cobbled together. I don't think it's very, you know, well organized. I mean, sure, you might find a site or two that has some decent recipes, but as far as searching for a specific recipe or recipes with a certain ingredient or tool that you use, it, you know, it's it's very difficult, and you have to go through several several web pages in order to uh, find it. So I wanted to create a recipe search engine to where uh, users would submit their uh, own recipes. I won't just, you know, copy recipes from a book or anything like that. And uh, other users will, you know, comment, rate them, you know, maybe do uh, recipe responses, <laughs> a la YouTube. I'll also have the uh, users be able to uh, put up pictures of the recipe, either in finished form or pictures of uh, specific ingredients or the recipe in certain stages, so that way the uh, certain vague terms that I found in recipes, like golden brown or crispy, are a little bit more defined. I also want to uh, put up videos, external videos from like uh, YouTube, Forever, Daily Motion, all those you know crazy sites. So that way you know people can you know better understand you know how to cook the recipe. I envision SpicyMelon.com to be you know really really big. I envision it to be a very very important social network. Now, I can see people ranging from you know the average Joe just kind of holding this shaky camera, you know, showing how to make macaroni and cheese with a microwave to, you know, more professional studios like, you know, maybe Emerald Lagasse, Rachel Ray, maybe, you know, putting up little snippets on their spicy melon account. What would also be nice is if, you know, maybe like a company like uh, Google or something, they're a little buy happy right now. If they would, you know, purchase Spicy Melon, kind of like they did YouTube, since I would be the only official employee of SpicyMelon.com, I would get all the money. Since, you know, Google would buy them, you know, their employees or whatever could uh, continue working on Spicy Melon, and I would, you know, get a whole bunch of money from it. Now, before that happens, though, a lot of people have been asking me, well, you know, this Spicy Melon thing, you know, it's, it's a good idea, but how do you, uh, how can you make money from it? Well, you know, it's really easy, because I'm just going to basically use the uh, same tactics that uh, a lot of bloggers and other online entities use to uh, make money online, which would be number one, advertisement. Now, I can't use uh, AdSense anymore because I got banned from that. You can uh, read my previous vlog about that. So I would have to use uh, other things like uh, Chickada. I could use Chickada. I could use text link ads. That would be very important. There's a bunch of other advertising mediums. I could also uh, sell advertising, you know, do kind of like a joint venture sort of thing. I mentioned uh, Emeril Lagasse earlier, and uh, he I'm pretty sure he released his uh, autobiography recently. I could do like a joint venture with him maybe or his publishing company set something up to where, you know, Spicy Melon would recommend such and such book and we'd get paid a uh, certain commission from that. You know, depending on if it's, you know, a tangible product, you know, like a book, I could get, you know, like a 8 to 15% commission, but you know, for other things like ebooks, 
like you know maybe some you know maybe a, a lower budget business would want to advertise on spicymelon.com they could uh, purchase a, a short campaign maybe between like a month a couple weeks three months whatever and uh, I would uh, sponsor their book but because it would be an ebook I could uh, request a higher commission I, re I could request like between 75 to 85 percent commission which is insane and the reason I could do that is because of a uh, low cost there's virtually no cost in making an ebook other than maybe the tools to make one you know like maybe like a PDF writer something like that but I'm pretty sure you can get like shareware freeware from various sites to do that and just you know the time you know the time in general to uh, make the ebook that's pretty much the only cost involved in doing this and I could request a higher commission from doing that so we talked about advertisement we talked about joint ventures there's uh, also you know the very simple donations just you know I'll put up like several buttons I'll have like an automatic thing where uh, every uh, recipe and every home page would have like a little donation button I think it'll be like on the top toolbar or something like that yeah that would make sense to where you could uh, donate via PayPal to uh, spicymelon.com it would basically go mostly towards uh, you know the cost in upholding upkeeping the site which would be you know maybe paying off the outsourcers paying on a uh, just you know the domain costs and uh, you know if I get enough donations to where you know it exceeds my expenses then yeah I'll, it'll go towards profit but for the most part donations go towards spicymelon.com specifically those are the uh, three main sources of income that I will uh, utilize with uh, spicymelon.com I know there's a lot more out there that I could utilize but those are just the uh, three initial ones that I want to utilize and then, you know if I find something really interesting besides those three or maybe you know parts of those three like if I find you know a new advertisement company that wants to do business with me you know then sure you know I'll I'll hook them up. Yeah, that's uh, basically my financial plan. I think with a thousand dollars, I can definitely get this thing off the ground, and hopefully, a lot of people will uh, pick up on it. So that way, I don't uh, end up homeless. <laughs> basically, my financial goal is to uh, generate enough money to uh, not require a job. So in order to do this, I've uh, done the calculations, and in order to just meet my expenses and maybe make a couple bucks more, by a couple I'm saying like 20, 30 bucks extra a month, I would have to make $39 a day every day, which is not that much actually. It's all about the uh, sustainability. That's what you know gets a lot of uh, people. I mean, sure, anybody can make 39 bucks in a day, but can you make it consistently? key so uh, all I have to do is make at least 39 bucks a day every day so if I can get myself to at least that point then I know I'm set I can scale it up from there because I mean obviously I don't want to live with my parents my whole life <laughs> I mean I definitely want to scale it up so that way I can get you know my own place and my own vehicle and uh, things like that now uh, what will I do with all this free time now that I'm not working well after the whole spicy melon thing takes off financially I would like to travel I like to travel to uh, different countries, not just by myself. I would like to take, uh, you know, my family members, my friends, in separate trips to uh, various places around the world. You know, definitely Japan, definitely Japan. Maybe visit like, you know, London. Kind of interested in Romania lately, actually, because of uh, certain buildings and things like that that are there. I think are just, you know, really neat. So I mean, I could visit, you know, the usual hot spots like Paris, London, Rome. You know, someplace in Greece. And, you know, maybe some kind of off-the-wall things like, you know, Romania. Yeah, that's uh, basically what I'm up to right now. I'll I'll post another vlog uh, shortly. Well, not shortly, but uh, that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. So uh, I'll see you guys later. This is the Andy Son out.